G'day, welcome to Accelerate Maths. Quadrilaterals are flat shapes with four straight sides, like rectangles and trapezoids. We need to calculate areas of quadrilaterals when we paint walls. First, let's figure out the rule for the area of a rectangle. Imagine this rectangle is a wall to be painted. Its length is 4 and the width is 3. Count the squares. The area to be painted is 12 squares. 4 multiplied by 3 is 12. We multiplied the length by the width to find the area of the rectangle. So the rule is, the area of a rectangle equals the length multiplied by the width. Let's do another example. Imagine this rectangle is a wall to be painted. Its length is 3 metres and the width is 2 metres. The rule is, area of the rectangle equals length times width. The length is 3 and the width is 2. So the area of the wall is 6 square metres. Now for the area of a square. Again, we multiply the length by the width, but because the sides are equal, we change the rule. So the area of a square equals the side multiplied by the side. In this example, each side is 3 metres. So the first side is 3 and the second side is 3. The area is 9 square metres. Look at this parallelogram. It looks like a rectangle that's been pushed out of alignment. If we cut off this end, triangular piece, and place it at the other end, it makes a rectangle. That means that the area of the parallelogram is the same as the area of a rectangle. So the rule for the area of a parallelogram equals the base multiplied by the perpendicular height. That is the height that is at right angles to the base. Let's do an example. The base of this parallelogram is 4 metres. The perpendicular height at right angles to the base is 2 metres. So the area of the parallelogram is 8 square metres. Let's consider the rule for the area of this trapezoid. If we cut off this end triangular piece and place it at the other end, it makes a rectangle. That means that the rule for the area of the trapezoid is similar to the rule for the area of a rectangle. That is, it's like length times width. But the trapezoid has a short length called A and a long length called B. So we average these to get the average length. We do that by adding the short and long lengths and then dividing by 2. Then we multiply by the perpendicular height. That's the same as the width in a rectangle. So the rule for the area of a trapezoid equals 1 half multiplied by the short and long lengths added and then multiplied by the perpendicular height. Let's do an example. 1 half multiplied by the sum of 2 and 4 and then multiplied by 3. The area of this trapezoid is 9 square metres. The last rule is the area of a kite. Look closely at the area of the triangles that make up this kite. Notice that this triangle has the same area as that triangle. Notice that this other triangle has the same area as that triangle. That means that the area of the kite is half of the area of the outside rectangle. The rule is, the area of a kite equals one half multiplied by the length multiplied by the width. The area of a kite equals one half multiplied by the length multiplied by the width. So one half multiplied by four multiplied by three is six square meters. That's the area of this kite. 